decided not to move their business to this area because they were concerned about the quality of the people that they could recruit locally and about the public education system. So we lost the opportunity to bring this business locally. I want to know what you're going to, what you're planning to do to address this issue. I think that is a terrible misperception on their part. Uh, as a state, we have moved our educational system in terms of national rankings from in the 40s uh, to single digits. We've slipped a little, I think, to 11. Kim, is that right? Was it 11 or 12? Uh, but that was mostly because other states have big gains also because they copied what we've been doing in Florida for the last decade in terms of how we focused on education. And, and I have to tell you, as a former teacher, I thought one year and figured out I was not going to be a good teacher long term. The teachers get a lot of credit for that because they really took a new system and applied it very effectively. But that's a misperception out there. We're in the top 15 minimum, and probably the top 10. Uh, and I, I'd like to address that too, if I may. Now, I'll respectfully disagree with my, my friend Jim Fresh on this one. Um, I, I think our education system leaves a lot to be desired. I think our funding of our education uh, has been atrocious. We are in the bottom 10 in the country as far as funding. Uh, and if you want to talk about economic development, and this goes back to choices, if we're going to attract businesses to this state and be competitive with other states and other communities, our focus shouldn't be on cutting taxes because we're already, for, for corporations, one of the most attractive states in the country with Wyoming being number one, and I don't see a ton of Fortune 500s there, but it should be on education, on infrastructure, and on public safety and quality of life. And if we do that, the businesses will come here.